Hello everybody, welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus with me, Flick. We're going to play as Lazarus again today and... Oh, I wish I'd known that before using it, obviously. We're going to try again to get to Hush and... or... The Lamb. Ideally both, but we'll see. Last time was two runs, one which I accidentally ruined by becoming Dark Judas. And one where I basically just got a bunch of rooms added in the community mod that are not at all balanced. Now, Nicholas is a bad company. I had I have respect for modders, and the things they've added are not good. However, the things that do get mod added via the community mods are things selected by Nicholas. So, if you follow a line of thought there, there's a good trail. Also, before I forget, CRWPQETV is the seed. There wasn't a single number in that, was there? Strange. Those new turrets that shoot way too quickly. I had almost max speed that last run. Still got hit by them. Also, I just got a text message that I'm going to have to check. Just in case. <laughs> it's a text from my mother saying, In case you didn't notice, it's flipping freezing today. What a bizarre message to send me. I, I did notice. I actually noticed that there was condensation on the inside of my window. I was like, oh, that's, that's strange. Why is that there? So, oh, it's very cold today. No wonder I didn't want to get out of bed this morning. Can you... Yep, there we go. Obviously, I don't want to use this pill until the next floor, either to try and guarantee that deal with the devil to set us on the right path for once, or to protect us after we take deals with the devil that kill us. We didn't get our first item room, and we're base Lazarus right now, so I'd like to try and find it. Hoping that the next floor will be a basement, not a cellar or a burning basement. But we'll see. And this is the often talked about spider cellar. Also, loyal viewers, did you know that it's flipping freezing today? It's not like my mother to censor herself either. Not that she'd swear off in text either, but who says flipping? I guess adults do if they're talking around children, but we don't want the hourglass because it's garbage. Ah! It's, it's frustrating because we've got a good pill here. We, we know there's a good pill in our rotation. But my reflection is a bad item. And I'd rather not go down this run like already missing an item. We might get uh, another bomb here or something to try for more rerolls. My reflection is just flat out bad. Oh, there's a penny. Did the machine break entirely? I can't even remember now. I don't think it did. So a penny might be enough to do a reroll. It may not... Oh, he killed himself. Halo. Even though it might end up biting us in the ass, I'm taking it now. Because the halo is great. Also, when I'm recording a lot of videos, I usually don't wear my hoodie. But I'm wearing my hoodie today as well. So I think subconsciously I knew it was flipping freezing as well. Alright, well, we're not taking my reflection. So we're leaving the first floor with the halo being our only item. But the halo is a good item. It's the least effective all stats up, but it's still an all stats up. And we did just get a basement. It's Curse of Darkness, which is awkward, but. We want to go fast, but at the same time, trying to get that deal with the devil so we don't want to get hit. Oh, crap. <laughs> this room is just. Ugh. Use the pill. You use the pill! As it turns out, I don't think I was... Oh, no, I did get hit. Okay, I, I, sh I was right to use the pill. At this rate, because we got the halo as well, which gave us more HP, it might not even be worth resurrecting. If we get a good deal with the devil that I can take and still live, just roll with the punches. I know the resurrection offers good stats, but you saw how that worked out at first the last couple of tries. Including that time where I became Dark Jesus without thinking. We're also going very slow. We, we don't need to care about boss rush, though. And we can go slow enough in the early game and still catch Hush, depending on how powerful we get. That didn't even give us any spirit hearts. Two of spades doubles our keys. So what I'm probably going to do is use my two keys on this floor, one for item room, one for shop, and then use it when we have zero to give us two. Yes, that's how maths works. What do you mean, no it isn't? Of course it is. I'll show you it happening. 
Epic Egg. Now there's a fun item. So now our damage is fantastic, which is going to be a little bit... Why is it paying out with nothing but chests? A little bit careful. Because of that. And that. And possibly one of those. Eternal Heart, that's something I want to maintain as well. Why did I pick that up before potentially resurrecting myself? Because I didn't think it through, okay? Plus, we're probably just going to lose it to Epicac anyway. Whoop, doop, doop. Ipecac is dangerous to your own health, especially if you don't have Pyromaniac. <laughs> but it's also a very fun item that doesn't appear nearly often enough. Spirit Heart. No Spirit Heart. Hmm. We don't really want Pay to play. I will take Bog off Bombs so that Bombs double up. I think that's fairly handy. I'll leave that in case I want to kill myself in it. Um, secret room might be there. Nope. Okay, we're going way too slow. Dingle, my man. If you could die super quick, I would greatly appreciate that. So we'll just take that because it's just range and that's not bad. So this is the one that flies around and gives you damage up if you're in its AoE. We don't really want to resurrect. Did I miss anything? I missed a bomb, apparently. <sighs> That's it. We'll just go. We don't need bombs because we have unlimited bombs in our face. So that's plus one HP again. Now that does mean that we have the Lazarus Resurrection to fall back on if things go pear-shaped later on. However, you do just pop up in the same room with one HP, which isn't exactly great. Also, having lots of range for Epicac is not always a good thing. Case in point, if you're moving and firing, your tier already goes further than it should be on your range stat, and if you have Epicac, it's even worse. Oh yeah, he does AoE damage as well. That's very good. So he buffs me by like 20 damage if I'm in the AoE. AoE, did I just say? I almost said Alioli, which is a uh, Turkish, maybe? Italian, maybe? Really good garlic dip. Goes very well with a lot of stuff. I have no idea if it's country of origin apparently, but it's very nice. We should be able to speed up from this point on because we're doing so much damage. It's just our risk of hurting ourselves is very high. No magic mush. I need to stay in the habit of saying clutch magic mush every time because eventually it will happen. And if it's if someone hasn't been watching every single run, they'll think I'm a genius. That's the long con here. That will be the big payoff. If that ever happens, clutch magic mush. No, nope. clutch magic mush. Clutch magic mush. Nope. You'll have to pretend in the comments. Like, oh my god, how did he know? Uh, no. No. Epicac plus Ludo is bad because as soon as your tear touches something, it regenerates on you. And you have to move it to the enemy again. It's a bad combination, so I can't, unfortunately. So that's two item rooms this run I've had to miss, and yet it's still probably the most comfortable Lazarus run I've had in two videos. That's weird. Ooh. Oh yeah, just bring me into the room with damage I can't avoid and then he insta-died. Okay, we'll call that a draw then. Squeezy is excellent for two reasons. The tears up and the... Ooh. Well, we're taking both these. So now we can fly, and now we have more damage and tears, and we have a lot of spare hearts. We also have 67 damage if we're standing in that AoE. Let's go just to make back some time. So now that we can fly, that means it's going to be a little harder for us to hit ourselves. Certainly still not impossible. Every little helps. Is Tesco copy written that phrase? Oh, infinite bombs for the floor too. Metamesis doesn't do anything for us. Oh wait, or is it Asda that's every little helps? Their marketing is so effective, I don't remember which supermarket it is that always says it. 
It doesn't matter to me. I know brand loyalty is a thing because, hell, that's why some of you are probably still watching these. But I don't understand brand loyalty for certain things. I, also, our speed is still 1.1, so picking up lard is fine. That gives us stuff to trade away, too. I don't understand loyalty, brand loyalty for certain things, and supermarkets is definitely one of them. The supermarkets are all essentially the same. I, I used to work for one, and that usually influenced me shopping there because I had a discount. But after that, I just go wherever what I want is the cheapest. What a interesting room. Okay, let's just use this now. Alright, it's Krampus. And now we don't want to earn the boss, uh, the deal with the devil after the boss because we know it's Krampus. We will take Krampus' head because we don't have a space bar item. What else we got here? Another Joker? The full Lovers, we don't need. Empress we had before. Well, the Joker, I mean, well, the Empress would give us a teleport out of the mom fight so we could steal from Boss Rush. But I will take the Joker to give us a deal with the devil on the next floor. This Incubus, his AoE must be partially affected by my damage. Because there's no way he normally one-shots those enemies. No way. So he must be getting something from me. Uh, we will take this. We will take this. And we will say thank you very much. We're leaving. Almost walking into the fire, which was all part of my plan. This is like one of the most effective runs I've had, despite me missing so many item rooms. Right, range down is actually helpful in this given situation. He's just icing everything. Uh, unicorn horn would have been good on that last video, but not right now. I'm trying to think what else oof, that I know has brand loyalty that I don't understand. Shampoo. Uh, washing up liquid. It's all the same shit. Ooh, spin to win. Damn, we earned a deal with that. Actually, that's fine, because we have the Joker card. I should have... Actually, I know it's a bit delayed, but let me just reply to that. In case you didn't notice, it's flipping freezing. I'm going to reply... Yes. I have noticed that it is flipping freezing. Full stop. Set. Let's see if we get a reply back. We will open this. And I was going to teleport to the deal immediately, but we should probably just wait until we see if we earn it or not. Incubus, succubus, whichever. It's just ripping things apart. It... It does damage. I always knew that it did AoE damage to the enemies who touched it. That was always a thing. But never to this degree, so it is partially affected by me. And that probably means if I'm standing next to him while he passes over, passes over enemies. He's doing... Jesus, look at the size of that gurgling. He's doing, like, almost 70 damage per tick, and he ticks constantly. We will go in the curse room, just have a little gander. Because we only get hurt on the way out. And it's trashed here. Uh, maybe not. No, it is trashed here. Secret room? Nope. Yeah, we're at like, what, 66, 67-ish when I'm in his AoE? He just wrecks them! Also, Curse of the Giant misses me, apparently, because all my floors are akin to Curse of the Giant floors from Anti-Birth. Joker. Just wait, we'll just use that double our keys now. I'd rather clear the room before I blow these skulls up. Where are you going? Just despawn those. Chariot. Two of hearts. Still just want the Joker. I was hoping for, like, at least one black card out of 10, 12 skulls. I was asking too much. What is this floor layout? Is this the mom floor? This is not the mom floor. So we're not super far ahead time-wise. But let's fight the boss now, anyway. 
Sister Viz or Viz, whatever. And we didn't get a deal with the devil, so we'll take the HP and luck. We will give ourselves a deal with the devil. We will take the mark. We don't need little brim. Oh, we got Leviathan, which was more damage and speed. Excellent. We don't need little brim, so I'll sit on that. So that's flying via another method as well. We might as well take the chariot. So yeah, I don't want to miss the item room. And we have six minutes to clear the next floor if I want to get into boss rush. If we find a teleport card, that will take precedence over chariot. Where the hell? <laughs> No, I'm not imagining it. We haven't found our item room or shop. So they have to be this way and they have to both be next to each other. Probably bridging the same room. What is this? Interesting. Interesting. High Priestess. Two of Diamonds we'll just use. Joker card. Uh... I guess we take the Joker card to keep this going. The Hermit is a teleport. I mean, the Joker is a teleport as well, but it's not the type of teleport you actually need. There's our sh no, that's a double key room. That is a reroll pedestals. We'll see what's in the item room and then come back. We do need to start going faster if I want boss rush, though. It just annihilates the damn things. It's a library? It's good, I guess, but it's not what I'm looking for. Yep, there they are, adjacent to each other. We will take the spirit heart and we'll take the key. We're not taking Cursed Eye, we will reroll it. At the point we'll reroll the shop as well. Right, let's go see what they've become. I'm an angelic Cthulhu monster, I just realised. Shop became baggy, which would get rid of all our cards, which we definitely do not want. And that became a book, which is actually good because it gives us bookworm. So now we get occasional double... Oh, wait. Occasional double shot with Ibikak. Maybe not the boon I was expecting it to be. Anyway, let's get the hell out of this floor. We do just want to take the Joker card. I'd like to maintain more deals with the devil, even if we haven't got any gup items. There's still some great stuff in the Devil Pool we haven't had. The other alternative play is take the Hermit card to steal something from Boss Rush. But that's only stealing one thing, whereas Joker could get us a bunch of stuff. And I wouldn't mind getting rid of my last Red Hearts on the next floor. Anyway, down we go. We have four minutes to clear this floor and kill the boss. If I do it, I'll have a look in Boss Rush. But if there's nothing I particularly want, it's just lowering our chances of getting to Hush if I fight it. Because it takes a while. Not a good outcome. Secret room. Secret room. Secret room. The faster we go, the better. And it is indeed a double shot occasionally of Epic Egg, which is hazardous to everyone's health, including mine. Oh yeah, we could have just been blowing open doors. We're fine though. Yes, I knew that was there. Well, that means the greed can't be in the shop, so there is that. I'm trying to blow open that door. <laughs> but Epicac is not playing along. Terrafont will just use and maybe come back here if we can. So there's our final shop. But nothing else. We're running out of time. Wheel of Fortune. Jeff, I can't help but notice you flooded the room with your spawn. That's slowing me down. I don't like that. Actually, I just realized I can do both. Leave the Joker card on the floor. Use the full card to get back onto the floor. Profit. And nothing of worth. I would donate, but running out of time. 
So yeah, that's what we'll do. We found the boss, so we'll just go in straight away. I know we haven't found the item room yet, but we're coming back onto the floor anyway. So let's go fight Mom. Dark path, dark path, dark path. We've got to deal with the devil, still have time to spare. It's the razor blade, which we do not want. Um, I always get the... I don't know what that is. That looks like the Ocarina of Time. Common cold. Marked. I don't know what this is. Let's try this. Metal plate it itches. Okay. Uh, that room could be over here. So now we don't need to rush per se. We have two floors to clear to get to Hush. We need to be as strong and as ready for him as we can be by the time we get there. Unlimited bombs and unlimited keys for the floor. Wow. Wish it came down there to start with. Oh well. Do still need that room. Yeah, we do. There was an arcade. Well, might as well go down to half a heart. Actually, we're not using our bombs because we have it. He paid out in one. You I will destroy. Alright, we'll just leave him. I will, oh, unless this drops a heart. And unless this drops a heart. It did indeed. Nope. Alright, off we go. Still need that item room though. I know there's still heart there. There's, there's still hearts on the floor it's to play the devil more. That's just what the devil wants you to think. We need to go back for the Joker card too. So, taking Triple Shot with Epicac is potentially a massive mistake. Triple Shot in general is often not good, but my theory is that with Epicac, it's actually very, very good, and maybe the the massive tears down is fine. If I'm wrong about that, then whoops. Hopefully it won't affect our chances of getting Hush at least. So maybe getting the lamb, or getting to the lamb and living. Because our tier rate's at, what, 41 now? Honestly, most of our damage, I think, is coming from our Orbital. We have opted to call our orbital. Did I say orbited to call our orbital? Is that what I just said? It feels like I did, even though I didn't mean to. I'm calling him that because I can't remember which one of the two items he is. They're both the same to me. I think Incubus is the one that Lilith starts with, so this is probably Succubus. I believe that's the way around it is. Although, wouldn't it make more sense that Lilith has the female one? And isn't Succubus the female one? I don't know. Oh, the switch though. There's a stone chest though. Oh, we have 99 bombs. So I went entirely the wrong direction. You know how it is. Wouldn't be surprised if I'm still going the wrong direction. Yeah, they do split apart the shots, so it's it's kind of like if I miss with the initial burst, the spread actually might still catch something. So it's not that bad. This tier rate, if I just had my normal tiers and like not the 20 odd damage we got from Epicac, then it would be worse. Birth rubber. I think I'd rather have the Joker, but if I have to use the Joker on this floor, I'll try and remember and come back. Oh look, more chubs. Apparently this is just the day of recording where I run into all the chubs. Oof, he just got minced. Goodbye. Now we look like a very dapper... Wait, there's still something alive. A very dapper, angelic Cthulhu monster. I finally feel like I'm, I'm what I truly am. Borrow that. Alright, we found the boss. Good. Still got to do the next floor, though, in nine minutes. Eight minutes, sorry, to get to Hosh. Alright, we don't get to deal with the devil. Use Joker card. If we use the Joker card, go back for first roll. We did not get a deal with the devil. We'll get a damage up though. Joker. We had two red hearts, and I will take Satanic Bible. 
Satanic Bible is really good. That's our survivability. Hopefully sorted. Because we have quicker charge as well, don't we? Or was that the last run? I'm getting them confused. I think it's this run. Lazarus is blending together. I'm going for the battery as well. Because we just lost two red hearts, so we definitely have space for two spirit hearts. Or two black hearts, rather. Alright, good. We're definitely getting to Hush. The Hush fight is almost a guarantee. Whether or not we'll be able to push on to the Lamb after that, not sure. We don't need Delirium as Lazarus because of the way Resurrections worked out on that run where I killed him. <laughs> Just open the door and leave. You can start skipping when you're down to these floors because you're not trying to find item rooms, shops, etc. because they don't exist. You just want to find the boss. Might as well pick up the money in case we get money equals power again. Oh, it's the new turret. Screw it. Look how fast they're firing. It's just, it's ridiculous. They need slowed down by at least, uh, like, a quarter. A quarter of what? Good question. What is that? Fishtail, it also stinks. Nah, we'll stick with... I don't really need matchstick, actually, so we'll do this. It might generate flies... In fact, I think it has generated flies around me. We actually found it lives super quick, so let's go for it. I hope that hurt. Once we're actually onto the heart, it's going to melt. Just had to get rid of the ads. So we've got to deal with the devil, so we'll have a look at it. We don't actually want anything there. Book of Eli was fine. I don't want Jinsey's Shadow because then I'll make the mistake I made last time. <laughs> oh, I could have re-rolled! I could have re-rolled. It's fine. Maybe I can re-roll something I don't want down here. We've got a half spirit heart. I'll try and remember that's there when we come back out of the fight. I could have re-rolled. Ooh, I think this is really good. Maybe. I'm not sure how that would work with Epicac, actually. Because that's the one that occasionally makes your tears like eyes that split into other eyes. Oh, the nails. We definitely do not want Loki's horns, that's for sure. There's a bit more damage. We could re-roll in here, but I don't feel it's worth it. Maybe just come back for a heart afterwards. All right, Hush, let's do this. Oh, I'm actually shooting exploding nails now. That's pretty awesome. He's getting pretty wrecked, but the next form has the super armor, so it's going to be much slower. Relative to my damage, I mean. Actually, I should follow you around then. Although that might trick the the AI into thinking my damage is a lot higher than it is, so maybe I don't want to do that because I don't want much super armor. And we're still shredding them pretty well. This is as fast as I can fire though, so it's a combination of super armor, my tier rate, and whatnot that is still going to slow this down. And once he starts spawning like those waves of little blue guys, that'll be annoying as well, unless I catch them all as soon as they come out. The flies could be quite annoying as well, because they're hard to hit with Ipecac. Although when you're firing three Ipecac shots, not as much. I also don't know why I said much so weirdly. Match. Also my familiar friend can take out the flies pretty easily too. hard one to dodge without taking damage. Or sometimes you can just stand still and it works out. Oh look, there's the evil eye thing. Yeah, I'm not sure what it was doing though. It was an Ipecac shot, but it floated. Damn, they got time to spread out. You can still take out quite a few of them in one shot though. Oh, 
Let's have a poke up for a little while. Oh no, he is. Oh, I guess that's because I killed most of the summons. He usually stays down until most of the pop things are dead. Especially these little polyps. It's to stop you having, like, uh, nod leaf strats. So you have to move towards him. Oh, watch right into that. Little Steven earning his way. Don't fire, don't fire. It was way too close. Alright, our speed is good enough to dodge that. Although, actually, I believe that's connected to your max speed. So it's actually impossible for it to overtake you unless you get hit by something else. So if you go in and you're a slow ass Maggie, you can actually still outrun it. They took the time to do that, and yet not other little quality of life things that should be done. Bye. Still annoying, because it takes way too long. Empty Vessel has appeared in the basement. So yeah, we hadn't done that as Lazarus, so that's good. We have all the time in the world now to go down and kill the lamb. I believe the lamb, again, has been done, but it'll fill in something that got busted. Oh, there goes that. The Hermit, we obviously don't need. Could we roll the ladder, but... Uh, nah. I'll wait and hopefully re-roll something of actual worth. And I believe the door to Delirium is open. Yeah, but we already have Delirium, so down to Shul. Got a date with the devil. Okay. So we just want to find Satan as soon as possible. I'd check in Antarctica, if I were you. I uh, just want to leave because it takes too long to kill ghosts. Just, just want to leave. Just, just want to leave though. There we go. Nice, and we got ourselves an emperor. Ooh. I don't think I need to use the emperor card on Shoal, but I could use it to find the lamb super quick just to guarantee getting this done. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So yeah, we're going to hold on to that instead. If we find something on this floor that can be rerolled, which is very unlikely, but if we do, I'll go back and grab the, the rune and use it. I'd rather, rather have Locust of Death, I think. Even though I'm not entirely sure what it does. Occasional death card effect, perhaps? Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. It's a dead end! Let me out again! See you in hell, suckers! Oh! That's what those were. <laughs> I'm glad I stood still. That was that new enemy that got added. Oh yeah, I forgot they did that. Another enemy that needs slightly changed. We're getting the negative effect every time I take damage, though. So that's bonus damage to the enemies. Oh, the eyes that shoot out also shoot explosives. That's not necessarily a good thing. Wouldn't be surprised if we one-shot the Fallen. Well, okay, we have to two-shot him because of the way he splits up, but... Oh god, why am I knocking him back so much? Bra, 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 bra. Dead in two. Alright, dark room, here we go. Open the chests. Okay. Ooh, that's very, very helpful, actually. <laughs> No. The Emperor. He says it wrong. It's the Emperor. Damn you and your shampoo. We're definitely winning. 
because we're doing way too much damage. And we have plenty of health. Would you like to do a victory lap? No. So we didn't unlock anything, so that was indeed something we'd already done. But at least it's refilled in now, so I don't have it bugging me. So if we go to Laz, he's done except Mega Satan. Mega Satan is very hard to force happen, to happen rather, unfortunately. All right, but that filled in two things. That got a new item unlocked as well, the empty vessel. So we'll hopefully see that in a run soon. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Stuff for now.